welcome to our Thursday third wave service on this Thursday night. But before we do anything else, let's dedicate the service unto the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, we thank you. We bless your name, O oh God. Father, we pray that as the praises go up, the blessings come down. We pray for your anointing here tonight, O oh God. Father, I pray that souls will be touched behind those devices. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen.
on, sing it out to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Pour out your praise this evening. Come on, let's sing it out to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords as He's breath in our lungs. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We pour it out. Pour out your praise here tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The word of the Lord declares in Zechariah 4 verse 6, that it's not by might, that it's not by power, but it's by the Holy Spirit of the Lord. And if you are here tonight and you are thinking that there's no way out, I'm here to let you know that your season is about to shift that things are about to take place in the atmosphere that you have no control over and here tonight as we sing that song one more time I believe that it's the breath of the Lord that's going to come upon you and things are going to change there in that place so come on lift up your hands there behind that device let's sing the song out again to the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings here tonight Sing it out, sing it out unto the Lord here tonight. Your breakthrough is right here, your miracle is right here tonight. It's your breath, hallelujah. there tonight and there is a miracle that you're believing in for salvation of a loved one the needs that are out there for your family members even for yourself for a financial breakthrough during this time of this pandemic things have been tough there's been a rough road that people have been on but we are here to let you know tonight that the breath of the Lord is going to come upon you and you are going to speak things that are unimaginable and we believe that this is a, a season of shifting that people are shifting from one level to another level and here tonight we want to take the needs before the Lord so if you are there and you're believing in God for a miracle for the salvation of a loved one I pray here tonight that you will be blessed so there behind that device lift up your hands as we take our needs before the Lord Father we thank you oh God here tonight that you are an awesome miracle working God Lord, I pray right now that as we were going through this pandemic, that things are beginning to look a little bit brighter, oh God. But the circumstances that we faced at that time, when that fear crept in, when that doubt kept in, your faith was able to shine on the platform, the brightest, oh God. And I pray here tonight, oh God, that you will have your way in this service, my God. I pray tonight that you will touch that person that is unsaved. Lord, I pray right now that you will deal with those things in our lives that need to be dealt with oh God and I pray here tonight my Lord that you have your way in this entire service and come on behind that device if you believe it come on let's give God an awesome praise in this place tonight hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah we'd like to welcome you to our third wave Thursday night service our midweek service with the theme of season shift I believe that there's a word here tonight that is in season for your life so stay tuned and do not go anywhere because God is about to do an awesome thing in your life here tonight and I want to welcome you on behalf of our founders Pastor Sunny and Sister Julie Organzoni and also on behalf of our Thursday night team we believe that God has an in season word for you you here tonight and if you are out there and you're still standing you may have your seat as we go ahead and pick up our tithes and offerings tonight and I'm going to jump right into it um, out of the book of 2nd Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 to 7 
it reads as follows. It says, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Verse 7 says, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Now, we all understand that this was a season that shifted a little bit into a negative side, but we know that God is busy working out something that is awesome, something that is a miracle. We are all testimonies of a pandemic that came and is slowly beginning to go, and I believe that God is going to do something miraculous here in your life tonight. Now, if it wasn't for the faithful giving of people before us, we would not be here. We would not be able to have this online service. We would not be able to connect via different avenues, via WhatsApp, via YouTube or Facebook. But we are here tonight thankful and grateful for what God has done in this time. And there are different ways to give. Um, you remember how it used to be when we were at church in the building. On that Thursday night, you would fill out your envelope. But right now, the phone is the new envelope. That is how you, you don't have to stand up anymore and get into your pocket. You just have to go to your, your cell phone on your app, and you can give right from there. And on the screen right now, if, uh, you find a QR code that is for SnapScan. You can just take out your phone, take a picture of it, and it will take you automatically to the app, and you can give like that. Also via EFT, online banking, or via your banking app, also on your cell phone, or even online. You can also visit our website at vocapetown.net and give through PayFast. And also, for those of you that still believe it, you can come and give your cash. You can visit our church at 123 Fort Tracker Road, Goodwood, and drop off your giving on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays between 12 and 2. And I believe that God is going to give those ones who were standing out in this time, He's going to bless them abundantly because how many of you know that we are blessed to be a blessing? Some of us never lost our jobs. Come on, somebody. Some of us never lost our houses, our place to stay. Our landlords might have even given us a break on our rent. That company might have even given you a break on your car payment. So if you feel that you can give tonight, you don't give reluctantly or under compulsion because God loves a cheerful giver. So right there where you are, behind that device, I'm going to encourage you to stand tonight because we know sometimes the, the person behind the pulpit will say, come on, let's stand and you still sitting. You might still find yourself in your bed. Come on, somebody. But I'm here to let you know that as you stand, as the praises go up, the blessings come down. So as we can bless the offering and the tithes and the offering here tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray that you bless the giver 30, 60, 100 fold, oh God, that you will open the hearts of your people, that you will give them a breakthrough, oh God, that comes from you alone. Father, I pray right now that every person giving, my God, is not giving reluctance you under compulsion because you love a cheerful giver in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. You put joy in my soul. Turn my morning to gladness. Now I sing a new song. Hallelujah. So right now, as you know, we are church on the move. The pandemic couldn't stop us, and we're still going forward for the honor and the glory of Jesus Christ. And tomorrow night, Friday, the 18th of September, we have our live by the fire at 7 p.m. via Facebook. There's a big announcement that will be taking place, so you don't want to miss out. Make sure you tune in. You might even be able to start a watch party because God is going to do something amazing through this live by the fire. Then also, we have pure courage that's coming up. Pure courage, the ceremony takes place on Saturday, the 26th of September, 2020 at 10 a.m. via Zoom. 
also we have our men's and gang warrior prayer this coming Sunday on the 20th of September at 5 p.m. via Zoom. For all the men out there, I would encourage you. For all the young men also, the gang warriors, the up-and-coming young adults, if you're a future leader, you can tune in and see what God is going to do there on this Sunday evening coming at 5 p.m. via Zoom. Also for those of you that have kids, and we believe that the kids are the future of our next generation. We're the now generation, but we also need to invest in the next generation. And we have our Kids Gang Sunday service at 10.30, and that's an online service via YouTube, directly after our Sunday morning celebration service, which is at 9 a.m. We also have our Kids Gang online service at 10.30 a.m. And then we also have every Wednesday on CCFM Radio 107.5, we have our Rise Up radio segment with uh, Pastor Andre every Wednesday at 12 p.m. to 12.15 p.m. Just make sure that you're tuning in because God is doing something new through those Rise Up radio segments. They are testimonies of the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. Some of you might be sitting there tonight and thinking, how is it possible that someone like him can be doing this? I'm here to let you know I once used to be a drug addict. 15 years of my life but God turned that around and today I stand here more than an overcomer more than a conqueror through the power of Jesus Christ and right now we also want to give a run for hope update how many of you know it's the lions versus the lioness the men versus the women and right now the men are in the lead the men are doing their thing but that doesn't mean that they cannot catch up to us so let's stay woke let's stay going forward let's stay doing what we need to do for the honor and glory of Jesus Christ. And right now we want to go over to some video announcements. This October, we're coming together, preparing for one purpose, a united we can effort, Run for Hope, in 12 different locations. Run for Hope is more than just a 10K or 5K run. It's a movement fueled by passion, courage, hope, faith, and inspiration. Join us for this year's Run for Hope of Unstoppable Health. Register today at runforhope.victoryoutreach.org. We are in it to make a change. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord, amen, an awesome round of applause. Amen. If you excited for what God is doing right now in the season, amen. Hallelujah. And it's really a privilege this evening, I mean, to be speaking right here at the Third Wave Thursday services, amen, hallelujah. And this evening, I really want to give honor where honor is due, amen, not out of cliche, but really I want to thank God for my salvation, amen. I want to thank God for what He's doing within my life right now in the season, within my marriage, and in, within my family. I also want to thank God, amen, for our founders, Pastor Sunny and Sister Julie, amen, for staying true to the vision, amen, that after 54 years, amen, we are still taking territory for the honor and glory of Jesus Christ, amen, and even in the trying times, still staying cutting edge, still staying fresh, amen, and then also, I want to give thanks, amen, to our awesome pastoral team, hallelujah, come on somebody, Pastor Chucky, and the rest of the pastors, I thank you, men of God, amen, for all that you are doing and everything you are continuously investing within our lives, amen, hallelujah. And then also, I just want to say, amen, and come on somebody, I'm leaving the best for last. I just want to also say thank you to my beautiful wife, amen, Sister L'Oreal, right there, she's back at home, hallelujah. Oh, you know, do I just keep on going if I make a mistake? Amen. And saving the best for last. Amen. I just want to say, Amen. Thank God. Amen. For my awesome wife, Sister L'Oreal. Amen. She's my best friend. Amen. She's my side by side partner. Amen. And also back to back in fighting the good fight of faith. Amen. And not so long ago, I was 10 years ago, I came into this ministry broken, hurting, a drug addict a gangster bound to drugs for 10 to 11 years of my life, amen. And Jesus set me free, amen. God saved me, 
and Victory Outreach raised me. Amen. And today, amen, I am privileged, I am privileged, amen, to be serving as a director, amen, side by side with my wife, my wife and I, as a directors, amen, of Cape Town Victory Homes, a part also there with the leadership team. Amen. And tonight, hallelujah, if you can turn with me to the book of Revelations, amen, chapter 3, verse 8. And I'm going to get right into it. Amen. Hallelujah. And while you are turning there, once again, amen, I'm speaking, I'm excited to be speaking to a third wave generation, a third wave country tonight. Hallelujah. And the Bible reads as follows. The Bible reads as follows. Amen. I see what you have done. Now see what I have done. I've opened the door before you that no one can slam shut. You don't have much strength. I know that you used what you had to keep my word. You didn't deny me when times were rough. Hallelujah, Heavenly Father. Tonight, my God, I ask that right there behind every device, Lord, in every setting, your presence will manifest, my God. Lord, that the unction of your anointing, my God, will erupt, my God, in Jesus' name, touching the lives of your people, my God. I pray also tonight, Lord Father God, that you allow me to communicate your word with simplicity, clarity, and conviction in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. You see, tonight, like I said, it's truly a privilege to speak to our third wave, amen, or at our third wave Thursday service, amen. I came with a fresh word this evening, amen. I believe that God has given me a word, amen, for tonight, for his people that is tuning in, amen. You see... Here we are looking at the sixth of seven churches, I mean, in the book of Revelations. The church of Sardis was known as the dead church. The church of Laodicea was known as the lukewarm church. I mean, Pegamos was the compromising church. Smyrna, the persecuted church. And Thyatira, I mean, the corrupt church. And the church that Jesus is speaking to in the scripture is the church of Philadelphia, which was known as the church of faithfulness and perseverance, as there was times when they were weak, but never gave up on the call of God for the church. They never gave up, amen, on the call of God, not only for the church, but also for their families. And although in the time of weakness, they never gave up on the promises of God, not only for the church, but for their lives and for their families. They knew that in the time of weakness, his strength is made perfect. And in the same way as the world endured quarantines, in the same way as the world endured closures and even panic during the coronavirus pandemic, amen, the enemy might thought, amen, he was weakening our praise, hallelujah. The enemy might thought, amen, he was weakening, amen, our commitment. The enemy thought he was weakening our faith, but little did he know, amen, that God's strength was being made perfect. Come on, somebody, I believe that just like the church of Philadelphia, I'm speaking to a people that stayed committed, that stayed tuned, amen, in to services, amen, that stayed on fire, that persevered, stayed, amen, giving, kept on believing and staying true to the vision that God has given our ministry as victory outreach to reach the loss at any cost. Come on somebody, if you believe that, then clap your hands right there, amen, and remind the devil a little bit that what he tried to kill you with, that what he tried to harm you with, amen, God is using it for his honor and his glory. Come on somebody, if you believe it, then drop some fire emojis. If you believe it, then drop some strong arms. If you believe it, then drop some bombs. Come on, somebody, you got to get excited right there where you are in your living room. If you are still believing in God for a move right there within your life, marriage, and within your family, can somebody say amen? You see, the theme of this month is season shift. And I believe it's so in tune with how God wants to bring amen about preparation for what he wants to do next within our church for what he wants to do next within our marriages, for what he wants to do next within our personal lives, families, ministries, and what we are believing God for. Can somebody say hallelujah? Amen. And in this, that new season that we're stepping into, of season shift, amen, in the natural, we are stepping into a new season, amen, coming out of winter 
and stepping into the season of spring. You can feel it in the atmosphere. You can feel it, amen, everywhere you're going. You can feel it in the morning, amen, as the dawn breaks through the darkest night. Hello. The sun is starting to shine, amen, a little bit earlier, hallelujah. And just the way in the natural, something is taking place in the supernatural, amen. The dawn is starting to break through, amen, the darkest nights right there. You may be sitting sometimes, I felt like that, that everybody's smiling, everybody's laughing. But the season I was in was in a dark season, but I kept on pushing, I kept on pressing. And the dawn started breaking through my darkest night. And I can say, thank God, amen, that is faithful so just as the seasons are changing in the natural God is about to change the season in the supernatural we are about to step into the season shift can somebody say amen it's either you shift or you drift you catch my drift hallelujah it's either you shifting or you drifting you got to make the necessary adjustments if you want to stay in tune with what God is doing within the church of Cape Town amen hallelujah and within the lives, within the city, and right through South Africa, come on somebody, not only South Africa, but right through the world, come on, we are global vision, we have a global vision, amen, and three things, amen, as we make the shift, you can already see it, amen, like I said, it's in the atmosphere, the first thing that we need to do is shift, amen, as we shift or enter the season of shift, we need to shift in our mind, that's the first thing we need to do, is we need to shift in our mind. And even as we going into seasons, I mean in the natural, come on somebody, going from summer into autumn, you can no longer leave the house, I mean, dressed like the way you used to dress in summer. Come on somebody, you got to get your jacket, you got to get your scarf, it's getting a little bit cold. I mean, you might catch that cold, not only catch a cold now, but catch the COVID, I mean, and just the way, I mean, that the season shift in the natural, like I said, for it to shift, I mean, in the supernatural, we got to make the necessary shift within our mind. Hallelujah. Now we cannot just leave the house without a jacket. Now you can have to call, you can't just leave the house without a mask. Come on, somebody, you got to keep your mask with you at all times. But the first thing, I mean, shifting in our minds, I mean, Romans 12 verse 2 says, do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve that God's will is good, pleasing, and perfect will for your life. Amen. And within shifting within our mind, I thank God for our leaders that stays fresh, that stays cutting edge. I thank God for our founders, Pastor Sunny and Sister Julie, that even when this pandemic hit, I mean, in this time of crisis, I mean, looking forward, I was looking forward to World Conference, I mean, I was set up, ready to go, me and my wife, I mean, to the United States and enjoy the conference and also spend time with the family over there. But when the pandemic hit, everything was shut down. But thank God for leaders that stayed in tune, I mean, that had a shift that took place already within their mind, how to stay fresh and cutting edge. We couldn't go to the World Conference, so what did they do? They brought World Conference to us. Amen. And we were blessed, not only World Conference, gang convention, and the women just came out, out of a week of a powerful women's convention. Amen. But not only our founders, amen, but also even our very own pastors right here in Cape Town, Pastor Chucky and the pastoral team. Amen. That when this pandemic hit, the first time that they announced the lockdown, gathered a meeting, locked arms, locked hearts, and God gave us, amen, a strategy amen, to let the church and the people of God stay connected, amen, and I believe that before the shift takes place anywhere, it has to take place with me and you first, and with that, amen, the shift needs to take place within our mind, as I said, in this season of pandemic that hit us, we have faced trying and unprecedented times, also we are facing an unseen enemy, not only the virus attacking our physical body, but also doubt, as well as fear and anxiety, I mean, wanting to attack our mind and our spiritual being. So do not conform, but transform. Hello. We got to transform through the renewing of your mind. I mean, so that rather from shine away, we lean in to the season that God is about to take us into. We lean in into this open door of opportunity. 
amen, and lean in to all that God has for us in this season. And in the season we are about to enter into of an open door of opportunity. You see, I remember when I had the symptoms of COVID-19, I became fearful. My mind told me I'm a comorbidity because of my weight. And I almost sitting back, come on somebody. But I told my mind, never mind comorbidity. I have a capability because of my faith, come on somebody. And I stepped back into it. I got up, dusted myself off. I mean, a fear could not grip me no longer. Because rather than watching my weight, I watched my faith, come on somebody. Rather than watching my weight, I watched my leaders, come on somebody. And got back into the game, I mean, got back into the calling that God had for my life. Because of my faith, come on somebody. Like my pastor always says the only way to fight a lie is with the truth and the truth is God's word amen the second point is we have to shift in our attitude you see Isaiah 43 verse 18 to 19 says forget the former things do not dwell on the past amen see I am doing a new thing tell your neighbor right there I'm doing a new thing he's doing a new thing amen now it springs up do you not perceive it I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. The definition of perceive is become aware or conscious of something. Come to realize or understand. The similar words is comprehend, realize, and discern. You see, in making the necessary shift, especially in these times, like I said, we should forget the former things and not dwell on the past and really perceive and get it on our spirit. That is not only a man, a new day. That is not only a new season. We're still in a new decade. And God is about to take us through a new door. Can somebody say amen? Somebody say season shift. Come on somebody. Say it like you mean it. Say season shift. Amen. And right there God is doing a new thing within our church. Within our lives. Within our marriages and families. Can somebody say amen? We cannot step into the season with yesterday's anointing. We cannot step into the season reminiscing of yesterday's victories. Come on, somebody. We cannot step into the season, amen, not tapping out, not tapping in, amen, rather than tapping out. We got to tap in. We got to tap in. We got to tap in, amen. We should have an attitude of I'm not satisfied, amen. We cannot got get satisfied, amen, with what we got or where we at. No, we need more. We need more, Jesus, amen, allow, amen, to move. Move in my family, move in my marriage, move in my job, move right there in my ministry because I want more of you. Amen. Our attitude determines our altitude. Can somebody say amen? And as the worship team makes their way, hallelujah. Once again, our attitude determines our altitude. You see, it's the kind of attitude that we're going to have, not only in the season that we're coming out of, but the season that we're going into that's going to make a difference. Yes, I know that through this COVID-19, I mean, we took a hard hit. We lost some loved ones, I mean. Some of us lost our jobs. Some of us lost a family member, I mean. Some of us, I mean, it was a trying time financially, but I'm here to let you know it's in the season that we got to keep on pressing, that we got to keep on pushing, that we got to keep on believing in God, I mean, to do what he said he would do that is able amen to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could imagine due to the power that worked within you that power is the Holy Spirit we gotta have an attitude to tap in Shakate Yandano come on step into that scene step up that scene believing in God for a miracle hallelujah because if we're gonna have an attitude Rather to get comfortable. I mean, that's the same attitude we're going to take into the next season. And I believe God is about to do, amen, a new thing. Hallelujah. The third one, amen, is the first one was we got a shift in our mind. The second point was we got a shift in our attitude. The third point is we got a shift in our strategy. You see Isaiah 54 verse 2 and 3. It says, enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your stakes. For you will spread out to the right and to the left. Your descendants will dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. You see, God gives us, amen, not only a promise, but He gives us a strategy, amen, to acquire that promise. 
Amen. It's in the scripture. Amen. Yeah. The strategy is given is to enlarge our tent, stretch our tent curtains wide. Amen. Lengthen our cords and strengthen our stakes. And then the promise comes. Amen. That we will, that our descendants will dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. You see, as we in the scripture, as we see in the, in the scripture, God does not only give us a promise, but a strategy for entering into our promise. You see, all through the ages, God gives His people not only vision, not only promises, but also, amen, a strategy. And we see it, how He gave Moses a strategy to lead the people of God out of slavery through the Red Sea. Just like He gave Joshua a strategy to conquer the walls of Jericho, to conquer the city of Jericho. The strategy was to march around the walls seven times, amen. And just like He gave Moses and Joshua a strategy, amen, in 1967, God gave Pastor Sonny a strategy to reach the inner cities. But not only did He give God, not only did God give Pastor Sonny a strategy, He gave him a vision, He gave him a promise. And 54 years later, the strategy is still, amen, taking in the cities, a still reaching drug addicts, a still reaching gangsters, amen. I remember when I was lying out there on the streets, I had nowhere to go, down and out. It was through United We Can that I was reached. It was through a united effort, like Run For Hope, that ministers, ministers, pastors came to the city to let a drug addict, to let a gangster like me know that there's help. You don't need to die with the hot lolly in your sock, but there's a calling that is upon your life, amen. There's a ministry that is ready to work with you. I mean, and I didn't need to die with the hot lolly in my sock. I didn't, didn't need to die with stab wounds right there on the street. I mean, but I stepped into the doors of victory outreach through a strategy that was given. I mean, and although the method may change, I mean, the mission stays the same. Yet we're still having conferences. Yet, I mean, in this time, we're still having run for hope. And family, I want to let you know right now, you that's watching, if you don't have a strategy, get one. And in that time that you believe in God for a strategy, we have a strategy for you. The ministry of Victory Outreach Cape Town has a strategy for you. And all you need to do is stay connected to our online church attendance, our on to online church services. All you need to do, amen, is stay connected, amen, to online giving, amen, to online evangelism, to online connection. We have a strategy, amen, and all you need to do is jump on board. If you don't have a strategy, we have one for you. Come on, somebody, all over that place, there where you are, stand up, amen, and lift up your hands in worship. Lift up your hands, amen, and cry out to God. Come on, all over that place.
hallelujah, right there in your living room, wherever it is that you're tuning in, we cannot go into this next season, amen, with yesterday's anointing. We cannot go into this next season with yesterday's victory. God is about to do something fresh. God is about to do something new in the season of shift. But first, for anything to happen, that shift needs to take place with you, Father. That shift needs to take place with you, Mother. That shift needs to take place with you, Husband. With you, Wife. That shift needs to take place with you sitting there behind that device and sitting under this word tonight. God, amen, is going to do something new. All over the place, all over the place, lift up your hands. Hallelujah, Heavenly Father. Tonight, my God, I ask, Lord, that, Lord, the shift will take place within our mind, Lord. The shift will take place within our hearts and within our attitudes, my God. Lord, that the shift, Lord, Father God, we will have a shift in strategy, Lord, Father God, to stay connected, my God, to stay on fire, to stay reaching the lost at any cost, my God. And for those, Lord, Father God, that does not have a strategy, Lord, Father God, allow them to get on board, Lord, with the strategy that we have as Victory Outreach International, as Victory Outreach Cape Town, as Victory Outreach South Africa. And in this, Lord, Father God, third wave, Lord, Father God, that we will be all that you have called us to be in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, if you believe that, right there we are. Give the Lord a praise. Come on, somebody. Come on, third wave. Come on, third wave till the grave. Can somebody say amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's clap one more time. There behind that device, drop some fire emojis, drop some muscles, drop some prayers some hand claps come on let's give god an awesome praise in this place hallelujah oh what an awesome word from brother roland over there it's awesome doing ministry with him on a team out there at our victory homes cape town our victory homes out there we have a home for people who are lost and bound we were once lost and bound but god has changed our lives separated us for the honor and the glory of his kingdom come on let's give god one more awesome praise in this place Hallelujah. And for our people who are, for the first time, if you're tuning in, we want to thank you. But also check out our website at vocapetown.net so you can get connected to the best church out there. Hallelujah. Father, I'm going to close the service off in a word of prayer before we dismiss. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, O God, for your awesome time here this evening. Lord, I pray you bless brother Roland, O oh God. I pray that you bless his ministry, O oh God, his marriage, O oh Lord, his future, my God. I pray right now that as this word went out, O oh God, of season shifting, O oh God, that we will continue to shift in the right direction and develop a strategy for the honor and the glory of your kingdom, O oh God. Father, I pray that whoever was sitting under this word behind that device, O oh God, that your word has penetrated their hearts and touched them. And as we go from one another, Lord, I pray that you will be there with us until the end in Jesus name amen and amen hallelujah